Zaporeva Banya, a gem, a little south of Sofia, this town even has a natural geyser. This town is on the northern slopes of the Rilla mountain at an elevation of 750 meters so you can look across the valley. On this trip we brought Krislava, Mariana's granddaughter with us. It was a memorable trip for many reasons however and we stayed in the hotel with hot spring water pools. In 1837 the remains of the Church of St Nicholas were discovered. It was originally built in the 13th century and now has been extensively restored. This little church now sits in a cared for piece of land and many of the original artefacts that were discovered are I believe kept in a little museum in a church nearby. This quiet little piece of land around the church is peaceful and you can sit and relax and think if you want to. You can still see in the church some of what is believed to be the original plaster with the original paintings on. You can enjoy a pleasant climate here in the summer months and people come to enjoy the hot mineral waters, the hottest in Europe. These hot waters supply the only geyser on the Balkan Peninsula. The mineral waters are known for healing properties and are colourless and clear in nature. The geyser, which is now incorporated as a feature of a fountain here, can sometimes erupt to a height of 18 metres above ground. With these waters, the town has been popular from ancient times. The Thracians called the place Germania, which apparently meant hot water. Some say that German was the Thracian word for heat. Then when the Romans came, they made use of the mineral waters too. There are some ancient remains still visible today as the town was badly damaged by invaders in the 5th century. When the Bulgars arrived in the 7th century, the town and the area around it was merged into the first Bulgarian state. Then, during the reign of Tsar Kaloyan, who reigned between 1197 and 1207, it was incorporated in the second Bulgarian state. For 
tourists, the town is close to the Seven Rilla Lakes and part of the Rilla National Park is in the region of this municipality. So, in the town, there are many health spas and tourist hotels. During this trip to Sapariba Banya, we managed to get two flat tyres and damage to the wheel ribs. It's because we took the mountain roads and they're a bit harsh and I should have taken the longer route but we went with the scenic route and I was able to learn two new Bulgarian words but I have to say neither of them were profanities. One place we went to is Sari Mali Grad. It will be in our next video, so please watch out for it.